Now let's see if this works now. NJ, can you hear me now, my friend? I am so grateful if you can hear me that you mentioned there's no sound because I've been babbling for like 10 minutes and I totally for, I totally forgot to turn on my mic. That's really, really funny. Oh, man. Well, I'm really glad that uh, you brought that to my attention, my friend. I appreciate you. Uh, let me see. And let me double check that my companion app is still capturing the gameplay for ah uh, it is but anyways now that um now that you can hear me how is life treating you nj how are things going anything new in your life going on it's been a while since i've chatted with a lot of our friends in discord which i discovered why the other day it turns out that discord actually signed me out and i haven't been getting any notifications for it so i logged back in i think it was about a, like a few days ago maybe and I'm like wow I have missed out on a lot which is kind of a bummer uh, let's see sanguis I totally that that's something in latin and also just a heads up for those of you who might be watching this now or in the future there is a goal in Resident Evil Village to break all the breakable windows in the castle so i'm trying to go for that feat in this game so if you see me run around trying to break things that is the reason why and my game seems really dark today geez let me see if i can turn up the brightness just a little bit okay good you guys can't see the um you guys can't see me turn on the settings oh it is in game mode Maybe I'll turn it on to Vivid. Yeah, I don't know if it's my contacts or what, but yeah, I just cannot see. Sports mode, cinema, APS, standard, Vivid. That looks pretty good. Yeah, I'm digging that. Okay. Now I can actually see kind of what's going on. What do we have in here? A recoil compensator. So it is a part for our gun. We'll take it. We will take it. Equip part. Yep, we'll go with that one. I don't know if any of these attachments actually um, do anything really for the guns in Resident Evil, but uh, I'll take their word for it. NJ, it's been all right. I keep getting sick, though. I'm sorry to hear that, my friend. Um, how many times have you gotten sick recently? Yeah, it seems like... Yeah, it's cold and flu season, so I guess that really doesn't surprise me, but... Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that you're not feeling too well. How are you feeling today overall? Is it... Uh, is it pretty bad? Just a little bit of a cold or what you got going on? If you don't mind me asking, uh, let's see an easy to pick lock. All right. We are going to pick this lock then challenge accepted. Uh, let's see. But yeah. So since, since, since I was going on for the first 10 minutes there without any sound. Uh, one thing I do want to mention for those of you who might be watching now or in the future, I went and saw Black Panther Wakanda forever yesterday. I was pretty underwhelmed by the movie, if I'm being honest. I just think that the movie lacked anything too deeply compelling other than the nice homage it paid to Chadwick Boseman uh, as the Black Panther as King T'Challa in the movie. I thought they did a really great job of handling that. But other than that, I just really wasn't buying anything that the movie was selling, so to speak. Like, the conflict just felt artificial. It didn't feel like it really meant much. And it just kind of felt like they're scrapping for things, reaching for straws. It's not to say that the movie was, like, bad. I just only enjoyed it a slight amount. The one thing I was really impressed with was the fact that Ryan Coogler found a way to make warring the concept of warring nations and diplomacy... Uh, a, di a digestible thing to explore for all audiences, which is really hard to do. I've seen movies try to do that in the past and fail miserably. The Phantom Menace comes to mind specifically. I couldn't digest that when I was younger, but... Uh, and NJ, I'm good now, just the cold. Well, I'm glad that it's a little bit better and that it's just the small cold. Yeah, like, it seems like it's either for... Oh, that's gross. Ah, Blood Cup, that makes sense. Vampires. Um... Yeah, it seems like it's either allergies or colds for a lot of people lately, which is a bummer, of course. Are you looking forward to Thanksgiving, NJ? I know that's only about a week out, and I'm sure that 
Um, you're looking forward to the holidays. I know I am. That's for sure. Just excited for a few days off of work too. Oh man. Oh, there's another lock pick. I'm going to go grab that. Okay. Let's see. Uh, it is in this room. Okay. Oh, sweet. Oh, that's not a lock pick. It is a, it's a, it's just locked. Okay. Well, that's good to know for the future then. And you guys can still see my stream. Good, good, good. And then NJ writes, my family is planning on seeing it soon. Oh, Wakanda forever. Thanks for the overview. Yeah, no problem, my friend. Anytime. And if, um, if you have any questions about the movie or if you want a more of a deep review, just let me know. Otherwise, I I did do a full review that's up on uh, my channel if you're curious or a short review or whatever you want to know. Just let me know and I, I got you, my friend. But I hope you guys enjoy it. I think that um, it's going to really appeal to a wider audience. So I, I've got confidence that y'all will enjoy it. And I hope you have a phenomenal time with it because Marvel makes some good stuff. Uh, let's see. Wow, man, on vivid mode, this stuff really pops on my TV. I should use this more often rather than game mode. For whatever reason, in game mode for TVs, it everything seems a little bit more dim, but this is kind of incredible. Okay, NJ, since, uh, since you're uh, the one on live for today, I'm going to need your help in trying to decide what to buy so I can either buy the submachine gun or I can buy this karambit knife, or I can get both. What say you, my friend? I'll give it a few seconds, because I know there's probably a 12-second delay between what I'm saying and when it actually gets spewed out to live. And then Jay writes, yeah, I'm excited. Gives me time to get away from work. Oh, my friend, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Absolutely, 100%. I am craving some time away from work myself. I'll actually be going to a uh, a football game. This week, uh, the Green Bay Packers are playing the Titans at Lambeau Field. So my brother and I are actually going to go to that game. And that's going to get me some time away from work, which I can't wait for. And then the week after, of course, we've got some time off for Thanksgiving. So uh, I'm amped myself. How is work going, by the way? Machine gun? All right, my friend. Machine gun it is. Please discard unnecessary items or reorganize your inventory. That we can do. That we can do. Okay, let's see. Let me move that. That is my only gripe with Resident Evil as a as a game is the the inventory is just a mess to deal with. Okay, we'll do we'll do this. I'll still buy the gun, but I'll buy also the inventory expansion pack. And then I'll buy the gun. <laughs> Perfect. That's it. All right. I am so amped to use this thing. My goodness. Let me see if I can sell some stuff too. Okay. Yep. We will sell them all. And I'm not selling the weapons I just bought. That would be a tease. All right. No, thank you, Duke. I'm not going to read through all that. Nope, I'm not going to save. We don't save. That's part of the challenge. No saving. Auto save checkpoints only. But thank you for your uh, investment into the game as uh, voting on what I should get NJ. Much appreciated. I always like to have some fun involvement from others on this kind of thing. Okay, so now i got to figure out where to go next. I'm guessing that's probably the right direction or... Can probably find a way outside. Courtyard key. Did I miss that earlier? I figured I was missing something. I just wasn't quite sure what. Okay, so I need the courtyard key. In order to get in. Let me take a look at my items and see... If there isn't anything on here that I should 
Why did they give this to me? I feel like there's a reason I have this. What is the reason? I mean, the bottle looks gorgeous, but if I can't sell it, what's the point in having it? And if I can't use it in the game, also, what's the point in having it? Really strange. Let me see if I maybe missed anything back here. Let's see. Pig roast. I grabbed a bottle of wine. Don't believe I missed any key items. Uh, let's see here. And then NJ writes, it's going good, although I'm pretty sure it's the reason why I keep getting sick because I'm around a bunch of kids. Oh, yeah, at work. Yeah, if you're around a ton of kids, my friend, kids are germ magnets. And remind me again, are you working at a daycare? Are you working at a school these days? I feel bad I should remember these things, but I just it, it's slipping the mind currently. Oh, I forgot there's a second floor. Let me run on up there to see what else we have in store. I'd imagine Lady Demutrice is going to be popping out at me any second. I've got to adjust the brightness. This is driving me nuts. Uh, let's see. Uh, brightness. Until the square is just barely visible, that might explain why I can't see a thing. Huh. I know, I know. It's the 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 brightness adjustment is definitely bad when it's uh the game is telling me adjust until the square is just barely visible, and I adjust it every which way. There's no square until both blue and red areas are the same size. There's no blue. There's no red. There's something definitely wrong with. Let me see. Let me try to change the picture settings one more time. Uh, let's see. Game. Let me see if that helps. Nope. Okay. It looks like I've got to adjust some things later on, but that's okay. As long as I can still kind of see, that's uh, totally all right. Uh, t -t -t -t. And then Andrew writes, I work in elementary school. I watch the kids that can't go home after school ends. Oh, yeah, like an after school program. Well, that's cool. Are you enjoying it? Do you like it? Do you love it? I mean, if so, that that's fantastic kind of mentoring kids. It's always a really rewarding gig to have. It's locked from the other side. Okay, so I'm on the right path. And kids, a lot of times, they can be really funny, too. Some of the things that kids say, like... Uh, my friends always used to say kids have no filter and oh that's where the bottle of wine goes that totally explains it I'll go in there in just a second is there anything else in this room that I should be grabbing chem fluid anything else yeah it looks like there's something else I'm guessing there's some kind of gem in this room that I've got to shoot down where is it where art thou Huh. Let me zoom in on the map here. And then NJ writes, yeah, it's cool. The kids can be difficult sometimes. I 1,000% hear where you're coming from, my friend. Kids are funny, right? Like, they're sometimes they're the best people in the world to work with, and sometimes they got their days, and when they got their days, oh, it is painful. Oh, let's see what this book says. The winemaking techniques of Castle de Mutrice can be traced as far back as the 15th century, long before the current occupants of the castle. Alcina de Mutrice uses this legendary yet peculiar technique to enrich the wine's flavor intensity and bestow it with a thick bouquet. Her best vintage is Sangui Virginie, meaning maiden's blood. It is kept a special is kept in a special ornate bottle decorated with intricate silver flowers, hence why we had that bottle over there in the first place. Interesting, okay. Gunpowder. Else we got ooh. I'm guessing we've got the key up the courtyard key. Now it's all coming together. Alright, let's go unlock that courtyard. I love the fact you can sprint in Resident Evil Village too. That is a very 
important detail, especially when you're playing in the first person. I mean, playing this in the first person is already terrifying. If I couldn't move, oy ve, that would be sad. Dimutrice's key. Did I miss that earlier? Let me see if I can grab that, actually. Oh, I need Dimutrice's key in order to unlock it. Okay, I'm starting to get the feel for what these legends and icons are meaning. <laughs> and then NJ, I don't have a good filter either. Hey, that's not a bad thing, my friend. Sometimes having no filter can really come in handy. So there, there are definitely days where I wish I had that that skill. So I'd, I'd consider that a skill, my friend. 100%. Got any good stories like from, from the kids? Like, have they said anything like crazy funny? Have they done anything like really funny? If not, that's totally cool. I was just curious. Oh, no. Ah, uh, there she is. Please do not give me the tour. Oh, I broke the windows. Okay. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Come on. Oh, apparently she doesn't follow me in here. Thank goodness. All right. Now we're getting somewhere. Let's see what supplies we got. Cuchillo. Broke that window already. Sweet, more monies. Money, 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 money. Ah, let's see. Yeah, and for today, so since I saw Wakanda Forever last night, there's been like five movies I want to see in theaters because now it's starting to get close to award season for movies. Like, movies are trying to make their case for Oscars, so a lot of like high profile movies come out in November and December. But there's been like a million and one movies I want to see, unfortunately. None of them are really getting wide releases. Like, all of them are getting limited theatrical releases, meaning I have to drive, like, an hour to get to a theater where I can watch some of these. Uh, one movie I want to see is with Kate Blanchett called Tar. There's another movie. Why am I... Oh, The Banshees of Inishirin. It's got Colin Farrell, who played the Penguin in The Batman earlier this year. want to see that not playing in a theater anywhere near me, which is another bummer. Uh, so that leaves me with either seeing Till or uh, Tickets, Ticket to Paradise, which is with George Clooney and Julia Roberts, which is more meant to be more of a comedy, more of a feel-good thing. Till, I think, is a lot darker in nature, which I'm fine with. I don't mind seeing a dark movie. And then no uh, no matter what happens, I think I'm going to start re-watching the John Wick movies. I absolutely love those, and they're, the fourth one is coming out in March, which I can't believe. I am absolutely amped for it. Okay, I'm clearly missing something. Can I go in here? I can, okay. Ooh, cutscene. She's terrifying. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Lady Dimutri standing at a good eight foot something is not someone that should be trifled with. I gotta make sure I gotta keep my eye on the time. I actually gotta work for a little bit today at 10. So, which means I'll probably hop off the stream probably at 9.50, I'm thinking. More monies? Yeah, more monies it is. Okay, cool. I got everything in there. Did I get everything on the first floor? I did not. What am I missing? What am I missing? Is there a gem that I'm missing? I guess it really doesn't matter a whole lot. And I can always come back. Yeah, I'll just come back later. Let's see. Another breakable window? All right. Getting ever closer to that achievement of breaking all the windows. I guess I should be more clear. It's not really an Xbox achievement. It's more of a... Oh, no. Is she around? Yes, a map. All right. That definitely makes things a little bit easier. 
But the achievement is within Resident Evil to get more monies, which we can use to buy more things. Breaking all the windows. Ooh, and NJ's got a story. Okay, so we once had an issue with the parent. Her son was being the most difficult. Oh boy, one of those days. My coworker had to explain that if he didn't change his behavior, he would have to request for him to be removed from the program. Almost ended in a physical fight. Wow, my friend, I'm very sorry to hear that horror story. I that that's always a tough situation to handle, and you know, parents, they're. I guess that's another thing that comes with the territory with dealing with kids is dealing with the parents too. The parents are almost the hardest part, I think, because parents can be very difficult, which is unfortunate, of course. But I hope your friend is, I hope you and your friend were doing okay after that, because that couldn't have been a very pleasant situation to deal with. All right. Looks like we're going to have a bath in just a second here. I am amped for that kind of thing. It's really funny. I. It, it, I've just so so become accustomed to showers. I haven't stepped into, I've never re haven't had a bath or swam in a pool in a really long time, which I guess sounds a little strange, but I don't know why that just came to mind. Do what do I have to? Hall of Ab. Do I have to move them? I do have to move them. Interesting. Okay, and I've got to move them in a certain order from the looks of it. Okay. Hmm. I guess I'll just kind of keep turning them until something sticks. Ah, yeah. This is adding up. Did that work? Nope. Okay, so... She's got the bottle... Looks like Demu is asking her to lift the bottle. And these gents have bread from the looks of it. And this guy is being a total jerk. Uh, let's see if I move him around. Did that work? Well, that did work. What's the story here? I have to wonder. That's interesting. I wonder if there's like a riddle on the wall. Ah, okay. Women are blind to male advances, but the poor shall take their chances to give the Lord their bounty sown, so that soon the wine may flow. I'm sure that has something to do with the puzzle, but I just turned the statues until it worked, and I'm totally at peace with that. And it looks like everything in that room is completed, so that's good. Down we go. And then NJ writes, yeah, he's good. He's resigning to do other things, but I had nothing to do with the issue. Well, I'm glad that T's doing all right, my friend, because that, that that's definitely rough. But it's also a bummer losing a coworker, too. That, 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 that's rough, especially if they're good coworkers. They make, they, they make jobs and bad days a lot more bearable, you know? And losing good ones is never fun. But, you know, life goes on. They pursue other ventures. And all is right with the world. How am I doing on ammo? Oh, I got plenty of it. I'd imagine I'm doing okay on supplies too. Yeah, I've got... I've got enough to... Maybe I'll craft some medicine now, actually. And I'll craft perhaps more ammo later. Only when I need it. Oh. Alright, our first... One of our first enemies... Where did they go? Who? Well, I guess we'll face him in just a second, wherever he pops up in. Oh! Knew he was going to pop up somewhere. One thing I forgot to mention, I'm really rubbish at shooting in Resident Evil, so this might take me some tries. Crystal Skull, alright. More stuff we can sell for more monies. Alright. Let's see what other gobbledygooks are going to end up popping up at me. 
Oh, there's more. Give me more. Uh, let's see. And then NJ asks, have you been keeping up with United? Um, I've been trying to. I have been keeping tabs on scores and how they're doing in... Uh, they're not in the Champions League right now. They're in the Europa League, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, yeah, yeah, so I'm kind of keeping tabs up on them. I know they're doing okay in the league right now. I know, I think they're in fifth when I checked the other week. It's been kind of, oh my God. It's been kind of tough to keep up with, with because, um, I don't have cable and I signed up for Peacock to, for the sole reason to watch them play for games, but Peacock has done a really bad job of showing Premier League games, at least in my opinion this year. So I haven't really been able to watch them too much. But yeah, I've been keeping tabs. Uh, how 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 do you think the season's been going so far? I know that you're keeping up with them pretty closely these days. I will say the Anthony signing has been a little bit more fruitful than I thought it would be. I wasn't sure how well he'd do at United, but he seems to be getting on pretty well. I'm kind of surprised that or at least last one I checked, I believe Anthony Martial has been still playing with United, which I guess has kind of surprised me. I noticed Ronaldo's been playing a little bit more lately. I know that was a question mark for Ten Hag not too long ago. He hasn't really, Ronaldo hasn't really been in favor with Ten Hag for uh, one reason or another. What reasons those might be, I'm not quite sure. But it's just been kind of interesting seeing that saga play out. And it's been even more interesting seeing Marcus Rashford playing in the striking position again. I know for a while, a few years ago, I believe it was under Ali, they tried him at the striking position. He didn't really do very well. I think they found he was a bit more of a natural winger. But I, I've i seen him, the games I have watched this year, I saw him playing in the striking position. He seemed to be doing pretty well for himself. I mean, scoring goals, which you must do when you're the striker. Is there another? Oh. Well, there's number two. Maybe I'm a little bit better at shooting than I remember. Always aim for the head, right? My batteries died. Well, that is a shame. So we might be dying. Oh, wait, no. My batteries fell out. Big difference. One second. I'm just going to accept my death at this point. All right, batteries. Stay with me here because I still need you. There we go. How have I not died yet? That's amazing. Oh, well, I guess that worked out. Okay. Oh, let's see. And then NJ says, I say Martinez has been our best signing. I would agree, NJ. I would. That's actually a really fair point, too. Um, Lissandro Martinez at the center back position, which is a position that the team I think has been sorely lacking in for a while now. Cause I mean, <sighs> Perry Maguire doesn't really seem to be turning out Victor Lindelof. I think he's an above average, a uh, central defender. I don't think he's necessarily poor, but he's just not, you know, crazy amazing or anything like that. So I think having Lissandro Martinez and with how plus added on top of it, how well he's performed, I would agree. He's probably been our best signing. That, and I'm I'm pleased to say that uh, Rafael Varane seems to fit into the team quite well, but he keeps getting hurt, which is annoying. Uh, Casemiro, not a, not a bad signing. I was a little surprised when United first grabbed him, but I mean, I guess I won't complain. Oh, boy. There we go. This is going well. I'm really eating through the ammo. Okay, so there's still some things I'm missing. What else we got? Yes, more handgun ammo. I'll take it. Okay, I'm missing something back there. Let me run back in and grab it. It's really funny. I feel like I've been playing for forever. I've only been playing for like uh, 20 minutes. It's weird how time passes when you live stream, you know what I mean? Some days it goes by really quickly, and some days it goes by not nearly as quickly, which is fine. 100% is just something I notice. And then NJ writes, we need a new striker. Ronaldo's getting up there in age, and Martial is middle of class. Yeah, I would agree, NJ, 100%. Like, I mean, Ronaldo, he's not going to play forever. 
I mean, he'll do his best 100%. He'll probably Tom Brady it and keep playing for as long as he can. But, I, yeah, and then Martial, it's like he – I I really thought he was going to pan out and be an above – like above average to really awesome striker, and it just hasn't quite gone that way, which is a shame. You know, I always root for players and want them to succeed, but sometimes it just doesn't work out. I wonder if – um I remember – some time ago when remember the old days when uh what do you call it when holland was linked with united under ollie that would have been something but i the reason why i bring that up is because it's almost as though right now would be a perfect time to sign like a prodigy striker like one that is young and has a lot of talent that can kind of grow as ronaldo gets earlier older earlier blah, older so yeah that's been kind of uh that's definitely a dilemma. Uh, Lindelof is okay. He needs to be aggressive. He can be kind of a pushover sometimes. Yeah, I would agree. that I think that's an accurate assessment, NJ. Lindelof, he's not like a bruising central defender. He's not like a big hulking guy. He's very much a... If I had to describe him, the best way I could do it is I'd describe him as a sweeper. I know central defenders, they typically get into the category of sweepers and stoppers. I'd call Lindelof a sweeper, and I'd call McGuire the stopper. And for that reason, he probably is a bit more of a pushover. I know that United's playing tomorrow, too. Will you be watching that game? I would watch it, but I don't have a USA Network, which is a bit of a shame. Where is this last thing that I'm missing? Maybe I shouldn't belabor on it too long, because I know for those who might be watching in the future, that gets kind of boring. Yeah, I won't obsess about it. I'll just keep moving on. Story's more interesting anyway. I think that's half the fun of playing through games like this is the story. I'm, I'd am i much rather watch a playthrough for the story than getting collectibles and awesome kills, but it's all subjective. Uh, Let's see, where am I going? So, NJ, I know you mentioned earlier that uh, your family's going to go see Wakanda forever sometime soon. Are you guys going, like, this weekend? Or are you guys going another weekend? Maybe over Thanksgiving weekend? That'll be kind of a fun family trip. Ooh, what have we here? This will be fun. All right, we're out of the basement. I am totally okay with that. Can I go back down? I could if I wanted to, hypothetically. Another herb. And it looks like my health is a little bit down, which kind of makes sense, right? When I believe we're about to get a cutscene. Yes, all right. Sit back and enjoy. I'm actually going to turn up the volume on my... Eight feet tall. Wow. Yes, of course, I understand the importance of the ceremony. I won't let you down. Then tell what the ceremony is. That man must be paid for what he's done. Wow, yeah. Scary times. I wouldn't want to mess with Mother Miranda. Oh, that poor guy's got a huge chunk out of his hand. Gross. Yeah, yeah. Let's break more windows. Vandalism at its finest. I enjoy it. More monies. Uh, let's see. And NJ writes, Martinez is the sweeper and the stopper. That's why we call him the butcher. I had no idea he was called that, NJ. That is a fantastic name. I wish I was called the butcher. It's kind of fun, actually. That's a really cool name. I, I'm digging that. 
Uh, let's see. We were all called by Mother Miranda to decide the fate of the child's father. Just thinking of that family meeting makes me shudder. To think I am treated like a sister to those miscreants. Especially Heisenberg. That riffraff wouldn't know proper man as if they slapped him in the face. I would have sliced him to ribbons if Mother hadn't stopped me. Why? Why does she treat me the same as them? She gave me this castle. Obedient daughter's everlasting life, did she not? Am I not her favorite? Am I not special? I need a drink. Well, don't we all, Lady Demutrice? It's interesting she keeps a diary, and we have just read said diary. Oh, look, a crib. And for those of you who might be watching this in the future and don't quite recall, that scared me. I thought it was Lady Demutrice. We're looking for Ethan's daughter, Rose, in all of this gobbledygooking mess. Nope, can't open that yet. So, looks like... I'm I'm out of options. What, what, let's see. There's probably a key in here somewhere. Oh, duh. That definitely helps. Perfect. Oh. I'm a little terrified. You know, all things considered, I'm kind of impressed. She literally shoved him through the floor several stories down. Not an easy feat to pull off for anybody, no matter how tall they are. Uh, let's see. And then NJ writes, don't know when we're going to see it. Maybe the week of Thanksgiving. Way cool, my friend. Hopefully it'll be a really good family fun time. More gunpowder. Uh, yeah, he was known as the Butcher of Amsterdam at Ajax. That is where Martinez came from. I was trying to... Figured that out the other day, and I couldn't think of where he came from, but that makes sense, so I'm glad that you mentioned that, my friend. Yeah, and it seems like with Ten Hag being a Dutch manager and him, I believe, coming over from Ajax, he's really attracted some good talent, which is kind of nice. Because, you know, when you got good managers, you can get good players behind you, which is never a bad thing. And I'm glad Martinez and Antony have been two players that have kind of come over since he started. All right, opening more doors. All right, let's see what else we got going on in here. You know, I'm really curious to see how the rest of the season will play out. The one thing that's really bugged me about this season for the Premier League, NJ, is the fact that Man City are again in first, which is just driving me nuts. Like, honestly, it was kind of refreshing seeing Arsenal at the very tip top for a while there. I know Arsenal and Tottenham, I believe, are second and third, respectively. But I, I get really sick of Man City dominating the league. It's getting really old. I don't even, it, it's not even about United, like, even necessarily winning trophies and all that. Of course, you want your team to perform well, but I just don't want Man City to. Win anything. I'm kind of glad Liverpool's been having a only a decent season. And speaking of uh, footballing and things, NJ, have you? Do you? I have two questions for you. One, do you have Hulu? And if so, have you seen the new show Welcome to Wrexham? It's about Wrexham AFC Football Club in Wales. It's the team that Ryan Reynolds and Rob McElhenney ended up buying, and it is a golden TV show, my friend. I highly recommend checking it out if you're looking for something different. <laughs> oh. Ah, so that's what she means. Oh, that is disgusting. The man's got three fingers left. Oh. I never know how to say her last name. It's very contradictory. Damn Utresque. Demutrice. What is it exactly? Let's see if I can grab my severed hand. 
All that is gross. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my god, open please. Oh. She is so tall. I don't like being chased. Which is another reason why this game is so terrifying. Oh, thank God it opened. Oh, turn around. Jeez, and she... No, 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 no. Let's not and say we did miss Demu Trees. Please tell me I don't need a different key. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, and I am out of here. Ooh, another cutscene. Now, what do we do with poor Ethan's hand? I guess that works. And you just put it back on like that? Is that how that works? I mean, fine if so, but I, I, that's interesting. Ethan has just invented some... Really awesome unorthodox ways of medicine. That's kind of amazing. Oh, let's see. Let me just pause real quick. Um, Sorry, NJ. I'm kind of catching up. Anthony is injured at the moment, which is a huge bummer. Arsenal is first city is in second city. Just lost to Brentford. Ah, so that would make sense. Well, good then. I'm glad that a different team is up at the very tip top of the table. And then you do have Hulu. Awesome. I haven't watched it yet. If you do have some free time, NJ, highly recommend it. I mean, it's... If you've seen uh, Sunderland Till I Die, it's kind of like that, but I think it's a little bit more fun and a little bit more involved. It's not so... Sunderland Till I Die feels a little bit too commercialized, while um, Welcome to Wrexham feels a little bit more close to the heartstrings. Like, it's truly, it truly talks about how much a football club can mean to the success of an entire city. It's, it's amazing. And then plus, there, there are some quite a few funny things that do go on because Ryan Reynolds and Rob McElhenney are comedic geniuses. So they kind of put their own DNA into the documentary, which is nice, but yeah, highly recommend it. My friend, if you haven't uh, seen it yet, which I wonder if I went back and watched Sunderland until I die, if I'd feel any differently about it. Who else is chasing me? Uh, let me double check and make sure that the stream is still Oh, there we go. I don't know why I keep having to go back and click on the load screen once more in order for the stream to show back up again on OBS. I don't know why it's being so finicky. I mean, I don't have the world's best equipment, so that could probably be part of the reason, but... Craft ammo in case you need more. Understood. Aim for the head, right? Oh, I forgot we had the machine gun. I'll, I'll have to use that shortly here. Let me see if... Let me just craft some ammo. How am I doing on time? Okay, I got about four minutes left till I've got to get off and... I'll just use it all. Why not? Well, no, I got ammo for days. Yeah, I got a few more minutes till I got to log off and get back on for work for a little while. Yeah, let's go on a spree. Bring it on. I guess I should be a little bit more conserving with my ammo. I think if I was playing on a harder difficulty, I'd be a little bit more concerned about it. But I think I'm only playing on standard. For the sole purpose of I'm streaming the game and because it's fun. If I... I tried... I remember the first day I did the stream. I tried it on, like... Uh, hardcore. And I did not have a good time. And I was like, I'm not going to make this mistake again. So standard was a lot more of an appealing option. Ooh, I can use Lady Demutrice's key in this case too. Way cool. Let's see where this takes us. Let's see, we got another map. 
ooh, there's an opera hall. I can get down with that. See, there's a second floor in an opera hall. Eh, we'll try them both. Okay, never mind. We're going upstairs. And then NJ writes, the U.S. women's national team lost for the third time in a row. Wow. That's actually really surprising to hear. I mean, they haven't lost three in a row in a long time, which I guess it shows you the state of the program right now, or the state of the program within the last several probably decades is that they've been so good that them losing three in a row is actually kind of shocking. Uh, who have they lost the last three times out? I haven't kept up with the team at all. Uh, let's see what this note says. Please be aware that the mistress's lipstick is missing. If anyone finds it, could they please return it to her bathroom? It is custom made and therefore very expensive. Grand chambermaid. The mistress's lipstick. Interesting. First world problems. Ah, so we'll need a different key. Let's break more windows. That's it. I guarantee you I probably won't get the achievement because I've probably already forgotten some windows at this point. Ooh, another... I can't believe I almost missed some free handgun ammo. That would have been a shame. England, Spain, and Germany. Oh, so those are the three losses they've incurred. Well, at least they're against really good competition. I mean, I would much rather have them play against good teams and lose than play against candidly like Argentina or Chile or whoever else again. I mean, those games got so boring. Ah, ooh, a diary. One day since treatment, the three girls have stopped moving. They seem almost dead. An insect flew out of the eldest's mouth. It appears to be a common fly. Well, that's kind of gross. Two days since treatment. All three bodies are covered in flies. It appears the flies are consuming their flesh. When I opened a window, some of the flies dropped dead to the floor. It would seem the cold petrifies them. I quickly closed the window to avoid weakening the insects further. Four days since treatment. All three bodies have almost been completely consumed by the insects. All that is left is a dark, writhing, human-shaped mass of creatures. It is just afternoon, and the insects have started to change color. Those around the face turn pale, and those around the lips turn to deep crimson. So, vampires... Six days since treatment, the mass of insects has transformed to human bodies again. All three girls awoke looking at me like newborns. I sense a bond between us like mother and daughters. I have already decided their names, Bella, Daniela, and Cassandra. And that is how the Demutrice family was born, by Lady Demutrice experimenting on people and having them turn from humans to flies back to humans again. What a story. Uh, let's see. And then it looks like I'm just about out of time. So I guess I'll kind of end it here, and I've played through about 2 hours, 16 minutes of this game. Oh no, don't restart. No, 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 we don't want to do that. Okay, so then, um, since I'm choosing not to save at all throughout this playthrough, we'll probably start from the last autosave uh, a week from today. So I think, uh, for those of you watching right now, so, um, I'll be doing this every Saturday morning at 9 a.m. Central Time, because that's just the time it works out. So I'll be streaming a week from today on that time. So if you guys want to come back, feel free to. I'd love to have you all. And let me just look and see if I missed any comments. So, NJ, I saw, I see your note. Uh, we're missing almost 10 people, I think. Wow, in the U.S. Women's National Team squad, that's quite a few. I mean, between probably injuries, I believe uh, Julie Ertz and Crystal Dunn are both having babies the last time I checked. So, that would totally account for some of that. So, I guess it's no wonder that they, they're losing so many games that they're missing that many people. So, uh, for those of you who joined me for the second playthrough, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. NJ, I hope you have a fantastic week ahead of you. Uh, for those of you who want to watch the stream next week, again, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, so that'll be November 19th. I'll be on here again. If that changes, I'll put something on any of my social media outlets, TikTok, YouTube, or Instagram, even Twitter, if you guys aren't following me there. So thanks so much for joining me, NJ. Have an awesome day. Thanks so much for joining me, and we'll see you all next time. Have a good one, if I can figure out.